The Toronto Raptors are one of the most interesting teams in the NBA, and I don't think any other NBA team experienced the level of uncertainty this current Raptors team experienced in the last four seasons. Now, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, welcome. And for those that are already part of the family, welcome back. Happy late new year everybody, it's been a long time since I made a video, but we got a lot to talk about so make sure to hit the like button and let's dive right into the video. In my opinion, this season is up there as one of the toughest seasons in Raptors history, and let me tell you why. Even the most casual NBA fan can tell you that the Raptors are due for a rebuild, and for someone that has been following this team for the last decade, I 100% agree. Coming into the season, the Raptors had two big expiring contracts in Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi. Now, OG Ananobi was rumored to leave in the offseason for the Knicks, and even though Pascal Siakam confirmed that he wanted to remain with the team, the Raptors' ownership just weren't interested in spending $250 million on Pascal Siakam. This resulted to the Raptors pulling the trigger on two of the biggest trades in Raptors history, which netted the Raptors Emmanuel Quickly, RJ Barrett, Bruce Brown, and three first round and a second round pick, which I believe is a good return for two expiring contracts. Now that we're done recapping the moves the Raptors made this season, let's talk about why I love the direction the Raptors are taking. The Raptors actually have never been in a situation like this where they have three players that can blossom into all-star caliber players. I mean, you can go back to DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, and Jonas Valanciunas, kind of. Never really saw JV as an all-star player, but have we really ever had a core this promising? The core of IQ, RJ, and Scotty is very young and a promising core, but is that enough to win 50 games? At this moment, no, but can they grow as a big three and get there? Absolutely. This core is still two to three seasons away from collectively entering their prime and by that time, the Raptors will have a good amount of assets in hand to build a contending roster around this trio. Now, Masai Ujiri stated that he doesn't plan to draft three players in 2024, which only means that the Raptors are either moving up in the draft for a player that they really want, or trading the picks away for future picks, or package those picks for a player that might want to get a change of scenery in the upcoming future. Now, with that being said, let me ask you guys a question. Do you agree that Masai Ujiri has a good eye for talent? I think I speak for all of us when I say that he's one of the best in the league when it comes to evaluating talent. Yes, he's not perfect, but no one is. Almost every GM in this league has drafted a bust or two, but I went back and looked at his track record from the last decade. This guy is phenomenal at evaluating talent. I don't know how many times I have to say it. And after I saw that track record, I asked myself a question. When was the last time we saw Masai Ujiri rebuild a team? And the thought of that alone got me very excited and I hope all of you guys can see it from my point of view because ladies and gentlemen, there is a light at the end of this tunnel and I'm certain that the Raptors will go back to their winning ways once this rebuild is complete in the next one and a half season. I personally don't see the Raptors taking more than the next season and a half to figure out what to do with this team and go back to their winning ways. I think the remainder of this current season, the core will figure out what their flaws are and work really hard in the offseason to patch those flaws. They'll take the season after that to build chemistry and, you know, give the front office indication that, hey, I think we're ready to compete. What are you going to do to build a roster around us? And ladies and gentlemen, 2025, 2026, I think that's the season this team starts going back into the playoffs and really starts creating noise. And as we get closer to the trade deadline, I think the Raptors fans should be very excited because... The Raptors have Bruce Brown, and according to reports, he's a hot commodity in the trade market. It is currently rumored that there is a first round pick that might be attached to a Bruce Brown trade, and you know how valuable these picks will be for the Raptors when they come to the table to negotiate for a player they want to integrate with our current core. Now all I want to say is, we're no longer spiraling downwards like we were towards the end of 2023. OG Ananobi is gone. Pascal Siakam is gone. I think that lifts a certain amount of uncertainty off this team. The core knows that they're not getting traded. Some of the vets might get traded. But anything that we get back in return now will be an asset that we can use to build this team stronger. We now have a direction. And I strongly believe that this direction is a promising one. The last couple of years were very confusing. We didn't know if we're a competitive team, if we're a contending team, or are we just flat out rebuilding without saying that we're rebuilding. Now, you guys can agree or disagree with me and let me know in the comments how you feel because I do want to engage in a conversation with you all, but I strongly believe that we have a promising future and I'm very excited to see where this team will be in a year and a half. And guys, with that being said, I do have an exciting, exciting announcement. 
I recently started doing Raptors watch parties on playback.tv, so come hang out with me during game days. If you have League Pass, connect your League Pass and watch the game with me. If you don't have League Pass, you can still come through. I'll give you a VIP pass for the night, and you can still watch the game with me. It's a great time. We had our first stream, and it was a banger, so make sure to pull up and say hi. And for those that are still watching the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I really appreciate all your time. With that being said, guys, it's your boy Raft Takes. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.